About 300 kilometers east of the German capital Berlin lies Berlin, a quiet small village. In its deepest forest is a castle, a place of unforgettable memories for the 400 Namibian children who were raised here since 1979. Some of them were orphaned by the Kasinga massacre in Angola in 1978. They were from the age of three to seven and were at the peak of just being children. Naita Hishono was only three years old when she had to adapt to the extremely cold European weather condition. Today, she returned to the castle, which has only a few architectural modifications inside, where memories of the castle life still resonates in her mind. It would take long. I'm reminded by every step. But then again, I'm very calm about it because it's weird how you see it from a different height. As I, was, as I opened the doors, these heavy doors, I remember as a child, I couldn't reach there, so I would hang myself up, pull it down, and push my whole body against it. Their upbringing was unique because, being toddlers, they were groomed into little adults. Of course, we were living responsibility every day. We were reminded of that responsibility every day. We were there for the liberation struggle, at Zena, our news crew met with some of the teachers of these Namibian children. The retired teachers do not speak English, but were happy they could share a table with Hishono, a toddler then. At independence in 1990, the GDR project came to an abrupt end. Hishono and the rest of the children returned to Namibia, yet to another strange country and people. It took her eight years to fit in, but one thing did not turn out as expected. It took getting used to, to everything, to the surroundings, to the political dynamics, to the realities, to the expectations being met, not being met. What is left behind in the now unified Germany is their records in the State Archive in Turin. Their names are listed among other national documents of importance, which dates back to more than 300 years ago.